Want to add a youthful glow to your skin? How about a radioactive substance like radium? Welcome to Miss Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the most dangerous older beauty practices that have, thankfully, been lost to time. So you think that there's absolutely no use for leeches as a beauty regimen or beauty treatment? It would be considered old school. Number 10, Cinnabar Blush. Rosy cheeks have always been a staple in makeup routines throughout history. While we have access to blush now, people in ancient Rome turned to other methods. Agnes, tell me something and be honest. Does my daughter please you? Very pleasing, no doubt. To attain that sun-kissed look, they would use powdered cinnabar, which is another form of the mercury sulfide. While it's a vibrant shade of scarlet, it's also very toxic. After wearing it, the toxin would absorb through the skin and poison the wearer, which resulted in all sorts of nasty symptoms like muscle weakness and even memory loss. Try to look a little more cheerful, Octavia. It's for the good of the family. What's interesting is that the cause of these symptoms was known even then, but that still didn't deter people from wearing it. Cinnabar isn't the only noxious blush. Red lead was also used to obtain that hue, and also led to deteriorated health. One only has to look at Cornelia. Poor sad chicken, plucked and boiled. Number 9. Coal Eye Makeup While graphic liner looks are all the rage now, in ancient Egypt, they kept it classic with a thick cat eye. Are you serious? Why not? However, to create that look, they required something called coal, which is made with galena, otherwise known as lead sulfide. While it did help them achieve that dramatic eye look and help to protect the eyes from disease, bugs and sun rays, it also had plenty of negative results. Caesar will think himself on Olympus with Aphrodite. <sighs> Piglet! <sighs> what do you know of seduction? Lead-contaminated coal meant that wearers could suffer from lead poisoning, symptoms of which include harm to neurological development, delirium and hallucinations. What's more alarming is that there wasn't a movement to remove the dangerous element from the product until the 1990s, meaning that there are still people alive today that could be dealing with ramifications of coal. You know, you really do look a lot better without all that black on your eyes. Hey, I like that black Number 8. Lash Laws Brow and Lash Dye This product may not be so ancient, but it has been proven to be deadly. In the 1930s, a company called Lash Law released a dye that was intended to be used on the eyebrows and lashes. While some were able to use it normally, others weren't so lucky. In the moments following her visit, her eyes began to sting with pain. Two hours later, she could hardly see. It was made with paraphenylene diamine, a chemical derived from the compound aniline, which can cause severe allergic reactions ranging from dermatitis to blindness. The Journal of the American Medical Association reported at least 17 similar incidents, and it's possible many more were not reported. In one case, someone plucked her eyebrow prior to application, which led to a fever, swollen eyelids, and an infection that ultimately caused her death. After the passage of the Federal Food, Drug and Cosmetics Act in 1938, the corporation faced swift repercussions. Lashler was the first product confiscated once the act was passed, and the FDA issued a statement saying PPD in eyelash tints was considered contamination, a rule the FDA still adheres to to this day. Number 7. Arsenic Baths I'm still all red! Well, I'm trying to make you as white as I can, Cher. In Victorian times, one beauty objective was to have the fairest pigmentation possible. While the rich were able to accomplish this by staying inside more often, working class women were forced to resort to more intense means. Ha! You really should have thought of that before you became peasants. One method was to bathe using arsenic soap. Although the chemical did help them get the desired effect, it was also obviously dangerous. While the ill effects of some chemicals used during the time weren't yet understood, Victorians knew that arsenic was toxic. Um, am I missing something here? Arsenic contamination has a wide array of potential health issues, including heart failure and the swelling of the brain. Worse still, if arsenic was hard to come by, some women would take radium baths instead, which would cause radium to remain in the bloodstream and lead to radiation poisoning. The fact that they went to such lengths proves how toxic beauty standards were, even back then. Number 6. Contracting Tuberculosis Illness as a beauty trend has been around for a long time, apparently. Tuberculosis can cause major weight loss and a loss of appetite in the affected. 
bringing on this sort of wasting appearance, but it was considered attractive at the time. Throughout the 18th and 19th centuries, it was found that some of the outward side effects of tuberculosis, such as a slim waist, pallid tone and reddened lips, matched the ideal beauty look at the time. This led to people attempting to contract it themselves. They would romanticize the disease, focusing only on the short-term results. Tuberculosis was used as a classic ending in literature for the beautiful main female character to die peacefully. So this disease became entwined with beauty and fashion ideals in Victorian Britain. This was not only short-sighted, but obviously extremely unsafe. When left untreated, the sickness would lead to severe weight loss, fatigue, and death. So if you're gonna die, you hope you'll look good dying. Spoiler alert, tuberculosis is not an easy death. In fact, it's absolutely terrible. Number five, radioactive makeup. Radioactive face creams, radioactive toothpaste, radium-based medicines, devices for enriching drinking water with radon, spa hotels with radon baths, radioactive condoms, in the early 20th century, radioactivity was all the rage. There was even a French brand called Thoradia that specialized in radioactive products. These ranged from powders to creams to blushes, meaning that women who partook in applying this makeup were subjecting themselves to several sources of radiation. Even if the traces were minute, direct exposure over long periods can cause adverse outcomes such as cancer. Radioactivity occurs when the nucleus of an atom is unstable. Unstable atoms have a high probability of ejecting a particle from the nucleus, like another element, alpha, beta, or gamma rays. If these energetic particles can make it into the body, they can break bonds between atoms, damage DNA, and disrupt a body's normal operation. Advertisers made it seem like it would result in glowing skin, and customers happily bought into it. Of course, there was no proof to these claims, and eventually, companies were forced to remove them from the packaging. Luckily, we have less detrimental methods of achieving that glowy look today, such as highlighter and dewy foundations. Strobing really is great for enhancing bone structure. You no longer have to contour. You can add light to have the face look more three-dimensional. Number four, bloodletting. How far would you be willing to go to conform to beauty standards? With paleness being all the rage in the European Middle Ages, some went so far as to drain their own blood. Oh, hello. Where were we? In a medical setting, this was done by either drawing fluid through a large vein or by puncturing an artery. In cosmetics, it was sometimes achieved by applying leeches to the body. The process was physically draining, in more ways than one, and if done improperly, led to shock and hemorrhages. Just pick it, you pick it, it and fling it! You, can you spin Please it off? Please get it off, get it off. I don't like touching okay, it. Okay. I don't, I'm feeling faint. They're sucking okay, okay, okay. They're sucking my soul out. In some cases, excessive blood loss could even culminate in the patient dying. Thankfully, the practice has been abandoned by most practicing doctors. However, it goes to show that the never-ending chase for perceived perfection has been a constant in human society throughout history. And well, there, you know, but sometimes you feel like you could use a little detox. Yeah, there's better ways to do it probably than risking an infection with leech therapy. Number three, deadly nightshade. Wait, wait, wait what's, what's going on with his eyes? They're getting bigger! It may sound crazy, but at one point, wide, teary eyes with dilated pupils were considered beautiful. To reach this completely unnatural standard, people would squeeze drops of nightshade into their eyes. The outlandish practice was done with the goal of having a seductive gaze. So she made use of the idea that poisons can be beneficial in very small doses. When used, the nightshade in the drops would block receptors that keep the pupils from expanding, creating the desired look. This had short-term ramifications as well as long-term repercussions. In the moment, it could cause distorted vision and over time led to blindness. It was a huge risk for very little payoff. This cosmetic practice was so widely known that it ended up playing into the plant's scientific name. Belladonna is a direct reference to the method itself. A few drops in the eyes makes the pupil expand, turning Renaissance women into doe-eyed beauties which is why Deadly Nightshade is better known as Belladonna, beautiful lady. Number two, arsenic wafers. After arsenic baths became trendy, some companies realized they could put the toxin into other practices as well. This led to the invention of arsenic wafers, a product with the goal of maintaining a deathly pale skin tone. It literally destroyed their red blood vessels 
giving women the coveted pale, almost dead look first popularized in Victorian times and still pretty chic among goths. It could cause capillary damage in the skin as well, which gave some a desirable rosy cheek look. The direct consumption of it meant that the side effects were even more severe, ranging from digestive issues to comas. The most ominous aspect about these wafers is the advertisements that came with them. They directly preyed on the insecurities of women, claiming that the wafers would also remove any other so-called imperfections on the face. The wafers purported to remove pimples, freckles and tans, and give skin radiant health. That is, if you survive the side effects. It was a predatory tactic that unfortunately worked, given their prevalence. While harmful ads still exist today, at least they aren't trying to sell us literal poison. Give you a pain, as the saying goes. And these treatments were so common that you could buy arsenic wafers from Sears and Roebuck. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Mercury and Lead Face Makeup The lengths people went to to try to emulate royalty seemed to have no end. Besides being used as blush, both lead and mercury were used as face paint to acquire a one appearance throughout the 16th century. If you would lay eyes upon me now, you would not recognize me. I have relinquished all sense of self to the throne, which rules my every word and action. When women saw monarchs like Queen Elizabeth I with a ghost-like appearance, they were inspired to try and recreate it on their own. The heavy metal was known as Venetian ceruse and was considered to be a quality product, you know, despite the risk of dying. Over time, the lead oxide would slowly poison you, while the hydroxide and carbonate in white lead would literally eat away at your face. Meanwhile, Quicksilver cosmetics led to the same fate. Both chemicals had the ability to easily breach the flesh and enter circulation. Despite the unpleasant consequences being known, people still continued to use them, taking the phrase, beauty is pain, to an extreme level. And the only way to hide your disintegrating face? Put on more makeup! Which of these trends do you think was the most harmful? Let us know in the comments below. Many believed it was a woman's duty to achieve physical enhancement and that her real value was in her beauty. Aren't we lucky that's not an issue anymore? Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.